something and put them to no use. <laughs> I just want to say the photo record. <gasps> Nissan Civilian, it's called Nelly. Um, she's a 3.3 litre non-turbo diesel with 174,000 k's on the clock. Uh, up the front here we have a nice carpeted area, some brand new seats that were donated from a Commodore. And then in the back here we have some 2009 Toyota IA seats. So under our two kid seats here, we have two 180 amp hour deep cycle batteries, <laughs> which connects up to our 12 volt fuse block, which runs all the electricity for the bus. Running into that, we have a 50 amp solar controller, which is fueled by 450 watts of solar panels on the roof. Hey guys, it's Kelly here and Little Zephyr. Um, I'm going to show you around our kitchen. Um, so first up, we have our Fed fridge and freezer. Um, it does the job and it allows about four days worth of food for breakfast, lunch and dinner for us. Um, and now into the kitchen. So we have running water here. Um, which is absolutely fabulous and really handy and we have our bins under here with our grey water catchment which is um, absolutely exceptional having it in the bus so we can track how much water we've been using and get the dirty water out quicker. Now into our um, cutlery drawers are in here. Oh! Show us how you use the locks. <laughs> So we've actually got these child-proof locks on the drawers so they don't fly out whilst we're driving and they're actually really handy to keep the treats um, away from the little ones. Um, we've chosen IKEA drawers as they are amazing for some space and they re really utilise every inch of room. So we've got our pots and pans down there, we've got our cups and all our cutlery in here as just seen. And here's our pantry. I'm just near you. <laughs> I think this one's locked too. Let me help you. Ready? There we go. Oh, oh that one's a mess. <laughs> What's usually in there, Link? <laughs> Chocky milk. You want to show me? What do you got? Chocky milk. <laughs> You're very lucky. I'm a great one. So we get a lot of questions about where we cook because we don't permanently have a cooker on our bench top. Um, the reason for that was we wanted as much bench top space as we could for when we're preparing meals. And we do a lot of, cook a lot of our cooking outside. So just under here, behind the couch, 
we keep our cooker, which is currently buried under a bunch of junk. And our little And we usually, if we're going to cook inside, we just set it up like that. It's run with two little butane burners and cost us about $70 from Big W. And then if we're going to cook outside, we just get a little table out and cook outside. So next up, I'm going to show you where we house our toilet. Uh, it just sits in the bottom here. Uh, it's just a small uh, chemical toilet. Uh, we keep all our chemicals in the back there, spare toilet rolls and a little toiletry bag usually. And then right next to it we have our 1500 watt 240 volt inverter which we have running a cable for a double wall socket just in the kitchen there and we use that to run our coffee machine, our rice cooker, laptop charger, anything like that and that's all run off of our own battery bank. And then just above we have our clothes wardrobe, which is where we store our coffee machine, our Makita vacuum, our mop, and usually our clothes. <laughs> uh, so next up is our storage solutions in the bus. So up here, this whole area above the driving cab is all storage room. So we have spare blankets, spare pillows, we also even store Lincoln's little pull-out bed um, phone mattress as well. And um, yeah, just bits and bobs do sometimes get shoved up there, like kids' puzzles also. So that's that storage area. Now down into the couch storage area, we have my favourite little spot. We have our shoe compartment down here. We have our box full of stuff. We have drawing for the kids, a whole box full of cars, and we also keep our medical supplies down here at the bottom also. Um, this is another IKEA solution that has worked fantastic for us. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so also with our storage, we have just included and added this shelf above the kitchen which is all for our nicks and knacks um our candles are up here um humidifiers and all our cleaning products so also the chocolates get stored up here too so the kids can't reach them um and with the clothes storage so dylan has just shown you the wardrobe and down here we have lincoln's drawer it's a little bit messy today and we're on a slope so <laughs> there's lincoln's drawer full of clothes We've got my drawer up here that I share with Zephyr. We're just doing laundry at the moment. And we have Dylan's drawer here for all his clothes. As you can see, they're really roomy and quite big. We have no problem storing our clothes in the bus at all. Um, now I'll take you up back to another little storage place that we have. So up the back here, it was a very awkward amount of space that we had. Um, we had to box it in because the boot actually hinges up in this space. And we decided to use this as our electrical storage area. So in here we keep our projector, generally our laptop, our computers. We have books so Lincoln can access them at night. And um, yeah, it's worked really well for us. And it's also our little breakfast bar or coffee bar in the morning. Uh, we have a lot of storage in this bus. We've had to try and use as much space as possible um, in every way. So we've added another little shelf in here. Um, this init initially was going to be added before we left on our last trip, but ran out of time. And this is our little plant and uh, book storage area. So um, it has a few nicks and knacks too. I seem to carry a lot of those around with me. Also, when I was presenting the kitchen before, I did forget to show everyone the table that we use for dinners when it's uh, raining outside or also just for drawing days. So, here we go. 
So this is our table. This table is used for absolutely everything you can imagine. Um, our coffees are here most mornings or up the back and Lincoln uses this as his painting, drawing, arts, Play-Doh table. Um, so far we haven't had any problems with this table at all. It's also an added little step up for Lincoln to our bed when he wants. Um, and it is also currently where Zephyr sleeps in his bassinet. So we don't have the bassinet here to show you, but his bassinet fits perfectly. And I sleep up here, so it's really easily accessible in the nighttime too. As far as sleeping goes, we um, obviously have the double bed that me and Callie sleep on here most nights. Um, pending that I don't get kicked out by Lincoln, of course. And then Lincoln's bed, which everyone asks about, just slides out from under the couch here. We get our little cushion that usually stays in the overhead storage bin. And it just pops on. Single bed for Lincoln. Um, I end up in there most nights. It's comfortable enough for me. I'm six foot tall, so no problems at all. And then, as Callie mentioned earlier, at the moment we've just got Zephyr in our little bassinet. And we just slide the table out and chuck his bassinet on there. Uh, so that's the inside of Nelly completed. So let's take this outside. So here we have our hot water service. Um, so this is an instantaneous hot water service um, that normally is connected to the gas bottle. And we have a little tap straight from our water tank down here under the bottom. And we generally use this if we really need a really nice hot shower, if I haven't had one in a few days, or I need to wash my hair. Um, it's not very regular, we actually get this out. We generally use beach showers. And um, yeah, but it, it does come in really handy. So that's that. We just hang it off the side of the bus and off we go. And now to our boot. Um, it's a bit of a mess at the moment, but this is our boot space. So it's actually quite large. This is all under the double bed that we have. Um, the drawers do take a little bit of space up, but we've got storage for absolutely everything in here. Um, so now I'll take you up to the rooftop deck. So up the top here, besides from our solar panels that are mounted on top of the roof, we also have a deck that Dylan has made. Um, this is all built on a metal frame that Dill's welded up. And yeah, so I'll uh, show you how Dill's gets up there. <laughs> <laughs> I 